Business School and says President Trump should not deny that climate change is real. It's part of why we wrote this book, The Madhouse Effect, to underscore you know, the threat to the planet posed by this uh, bad faith uh, discourse that we currently have in the United States and to some extent here in Australia when it comes to uh, the matter of human-caused climate change. We have a government now that is run by uh, a President Donald Trump and a congressional uh, Republican leadership that rejects uh, that climate change is even happening. And it's hard to have the meaningful debate that we need to have about what to do about the problem when we can't even come to the table and accept that the problem exists. So it is frustrating. Um, at the same time, there's growing public awareness of the impacts of climate change, just like there is here in Australia, uh, back in the United States, because people are seeing unprecedented extreme weather events. They're seeing the effects of climate change play out mm. in real time. From a point of view of industry, you make the really interesting point that the great 20th, 21st century revolution is clearly going to be renewables and all the and many and varied industries that will spring up around that. And you say you've got to make sure, or Donald Trump has to make sure, that he doesn't cede ground to China and other countries when it comes to being at the forefront of what, what might be the next great industry. Yeah, I mean, he, Donald Trump, as we all know, has said he wants to make America great. Uh, he actually says great again. Uh, we, as some of us think it, it's been a great country for some time, uh, but he wants to make America great. If he really means that, then he, would, he should make sure that we don't get left out of the great economic revolution of this century, the renewable energy revolution. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the question is, will he embrace that and make us competitive and not seed um, you know, the manufacturing of solar panels and, and wind technology to the rest of the world? Um, we, we hope that he will uh, ultimately feel enough pressure uh, from you know, the people <laughs> to actually pursue uh, a renewable energy, clean energy agenda. Michael Mann, a really interesting conversation. He's giving that lecture in Sydney, um, but he's published a book along with other climate scientists. It's uh, worthwhile looking at. It's quite, quite, quite powerful stuff. Now, in the meantime, the US President has had another go at the judiciary. 